Hello guys, um, I hope you're doing well. Sorry for the delay in getting this video out. I was busy with work and stuff around the game. Arsenal have lost again. Uh, seven games without a win in the Premier League, I believe. 2-1 uh, at Everton at Goodson Park. Uh, I can't say I'm too surprised. I really was quite fearful going into this game. Although the way it played out was interesting to me. I mean, I don't think Everton were very good. This was an Everton side that lacked Luca Dean at right at left back. Um, they played basically four centre-halves across the back. In midfield, they didn't have Andre Gomez. They didn't have James Rodriguez. I think they were lacking creativity, dynamism, movement going forward. If they were ever going to score goals in this game, it was from crosses. And that's precisely what they did. Arsenal keep finding... I mean, they can't buy a goal from open play at the moment, but they keep finding new ways to start conceding them. Our record from defensive set pieces has been pretty good. We allowed Yeri Mina to score shortly before half-time. Nicola Pepe appeared to be the man tracking him. That does not seem like a wise move. And they opened the scoring with a, a cross from Alex Iwobi. From the right-hand side, adding insult to injury. Think how many times he played for us on the right and was completely unproductive and terrible. Across from him towards Dominic Calvert-Lewin, his header deflected off Rob Holding for an own goal. Um, the curse of the captain's armband. They keep sticking it in their own net for Arsenal at the moment. In between that, we got a penalty. Nicola Pepe had pay, stuck away, won nicely by his mate Niles. As I said, I think Everton were quite average for long periods in this game. Uh, and that was enough. And that tells its own story, really. You know, the games Arsenal have won this season and the games they've lost, I'm not sure they've been dramatically different. And I guess, I guess that's the problem. You know, if you don't control games, if you don't convincingly establish, you know, your dominance in a match with chances, with goals, you're always going to get bitten. You're always going to get stung. And at the moment, the breaks aren't going Arsenal's way. And... I'm very, very worried. I, I, I honestly don't think Arteta's in any immediate danger. Some people will think that's crazy. Um, and there's a justification for that, certainly. I don't think he is, though. And I think maybe that's why I'm worried. Because I fear how bad this could get. We've got games next week against Man City and Chelsea. I'm not full of optimism about those. Then the fixtures get a little bit easier. But right now, all games are hard for this team. Um... It's genuinely hard to say things that are new or interesting about them. I suppose the selection was interesting today. You know, he kept Maitland-Niles in over Bella and he kept Nketiah in over Lacazette. I raised a few eyebrows at that, especially without Aubameyang there. He played Willian from the left, Pepe from the right. Willian in the first half played a very strange role where he was sort of stuck to the left touchline, a bit like Pepe used to be when he was on the right-hand side. Uh, does not suit him, I think we learned terrible first half. I thought it was a bit better in the second, although I could understand why people were surprised he didn't come off. Uh, it wasn't like he was offering a lot. Um, what else to say? Danny Ceballos. I think sometimes as a fan, you have like days with a player where you sort of you, you reach the end of your tether. And I think I've reached that with Ceballos. I wonder if it's because he's not our player. And so I'm sort of less because he's on loan obviously I'm sort of less warmly inclined towards him because I kind of feel like he's just passing through but he really gets my go I think he doesn't make himself available for passes enough I think he's quite cowardly in challenges I'll tell you how I feel about Danny Sabaros remember that tackle in the first half where the Everton I think it was Mason Holgate someone like that maybe it was the left back actually I forget one of the Everton defenders cleaned him out it was a Heavy, heavy challenge. And I watched it and I thought, good. He, he sort of deserved that. Um, that tells you sort of where I am with him. Um, yeah. We're so slow to get the ball forward. Teams are happy for us to have possession. Whatever Arsenal do, they must not take this increased possession as a sign of progress. It isn't. Teams are letting us do that because they do not fear us. They do not think we can hurt them with the ball. So they'll let us have it and they'll sit in. And that's what Everton did in the second half. They barely had the ball. 
It's a risky strategy. You can get caught, but not against Arsenal, seemingly. Um, anyway, it was rubbish, and uh, it is rubbish at the moment. I'm sorry for you all. It's Christmas time of year. It's been a very hard, long year. And why is football there? It's there for something to distract us, to bring us joy, uh, to, you know, bring some light into your life, hopefully. And it's really not doing that for Arsenal fans at the present time. I suppose the only consolation is if, you know, that's your biggest worry, you're doing okay. But I know it's not for most people. I know it's a supplementary thing that makes life a little bit easier or a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. I'm desperately sorry for you all. Uh, that at the moment, it just ain't doing that. Um, it gives you an opportunity to vent, though. It gets stuff off your chest. There's a catharsis in it. Maybe that's something to take uh, solace in. I'm going to stop there. I've not been very eloquent about this game. And it's because I'm running out of stuff to say. I mean, I'm repeating myself about this team over and over and over again. They're very poor going forward. They kind of have been. And there was a period where that was sort of a trade-off I was willing to accept. But it's getting worse. It's getting worse. And I don't see anything that makes me think Arteta knows how to fix it. We saw all those crosses. Then today, less crosses. But I'm not sure either really worked. Right, we're going to have a drink. Merry Christmas.